What is good, everybody? Nathan Lombardo here with Lambeau Media, and here just to my left is Xavier Williams. Uh, we're here at Legends Performance and Wellness Center. He's a Cincinnati Bengals defensive lineman. Uh, X, I want to start off with this. Uh, you, you, you won the Super Bowl in 2019 with the Kansas City Chiefs. What would you say made that 2019 Chiefs you know, so special and talented? Uh, I think just kind of the grit of the team. I mean, there was a lot of stuff. A lot of people got hurt. I got hurt that year. Right. And it took a while for everybody to kind of come back. I mean, Pat even got hurt. He yeah. missed uh, one or two games. And the team just kept winning. Uh, you know, it was just kind of a, uh, adapting to adversability. Yeah. I think that's kind of the teams that go all the way to the Super Bowl. That's what they all have in common and kind of teams that end up winning it. That's really all it's about. Yeah, would you say those injuries throughout the season? You mentioned, you know, you you faced some adversity that season with an injury. You know, Patty Mahomes did as well. Would you say that adversity kind of, you know, helped you guys push, you know, even harder and, you know, put a chip on your guys' shoulder? Yeah, I would say we probably already had a chip that year. Cause, right. I mean, the uh, year before, coming so close, losing in the championship yeah. game. Uh, you know, I think everybody was just so locked in. Everybody knew what we had the potential of doing. Right. And I think everybody just kind of believed that they didn't want – they didn't want any excuses to kind yeah. of hold us back, it, whether it be injuries, a bad game, whatever was going to happen. Everybody just wanted to kind of barrel through. Yeah. And that's just kind of what we ended up doing. Okay. And you mentioned Patty Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes, obviously a very talented guy um, on his way to possibly, you know, win a Super Bowl this season. Mahomes down the field. Yes. And he's up and in. Bouncing off the ground for the touchdown. Tyreek Hill. I mean, you're about to get hit. You're throwing it 50, 60 yards. What makes a guy like Patrick Mahomes, you know, so special? You have the capability of playing with some very dominant and, you know, talented guys along the way. But with a guy like Patrick Mahomes, who's, you know, continuing to dominate at the highest of, you know, highs, what makes a guy like Patrick Mahomes so special? I mean, he's got an arm that can do <laughs> whatever he wants with right, it. Right. He's surrounded by weapons that, I mean, you know, yeah. Tyreek Hill. The field, yeah! And he's up and in, bouncing off the ground for the touchdown. Tyreek Hill. I mean, a guy who can run yep. routes that probably really shouldn't even work in the NFL. Right, yep. You got Kelsey who can just kind of catch anything. Great protection again. Mahomes to the end zone, wide open. Touchdown, Kelsey. Patrick. You got a head coach like Andy Reid, I think, just kind of like a mad genius when it comes to drawing up offensive schemes. Yeah. And you give him, you give Andy Reid that many weapons, and you kind of just let his imagination run wild. It's kind of a perfect storm. Right. And, I mean, Pat, same thing. He's like a competitor. He's kind of the best of what you see from, like, a lot of the uh, quarterbacks we grew up watch, watching. From He's smart like Peyton. He's mm -hmm. a competitor like Tom. Right. And, I mean, he's got an arm like – uh, Aaron, so yep. it just kind Everything. of a perfect storm. Right, yeah. And uh, before your professional career in the NFL, you know, you know, tra when transitioning from team to team in the NFL, you actually attended University of Northern Iowa. How important was that, you know, side of things and that your college career at UNI for your, you on your development standpoint? Uh, I think for me, it was really, it helped a lot just from that standpoint of going to a smaller school. Right. It kind of, uh, kind of installs in you that, you know, you're going to have to work a little harder because yeah. scouts aren't going to go out of their way to go see you to where you were at one of these larger, dominant BCS schools, you yeah. know. Uh, one of those schools you can kind of just get picked up because you can be a really good player. Everybody's got to be a really good player. But Absolutely. you can kind of just kind of uh, hang around other five-star recruits and people are going to kind of find you. Uh -huh. Going to a small school, I mean, you just got to put the work in. and You got to just hope that somebody sees the film, hope that somebody – uh comes by and can see you and I mean that that's really it right. you just got to keep working uh, you're up there in the middle of Iowa nobody knows mm -hmm. about you nobody's gonna just randomly come up to a game so yeah I mean but it, it was good the work ethic is really good yeah most definitely well now that we wrapped up kind of talking about you know that 2019 Chiefs team your career at UNI you know transitioning into the NFL I want to finish this interview off with a quick rapid fire so if you could sack one quarterback in the NFL you know that is currently playing who would be that guy uh, Tom Brady. Okay, and favorite pregame meal? <laughs> I get a big bowl of fruit and I get three cookies. Okay, <laughs> okay. Pregame music genre preference? Preference? Uh, rap. Okay. And it's a mix of NBA Youngboy and DMX. Okay, and next to wrap up uh, the rapid fire, favorite thing to do outside of playing football? 
Uh, big camper and a video game player. That's awesome. Well, Xavier Williams, I really appreciate you, you know, taking your time. And I wrap up every interview, you know, asking my interviewee to nominate someone else to do an interview with me. So, X, who would be that guy? Uh, I think you guys should get uh, Wes Butts. Okay, good okay. Guy get, good guy getting friends, getting or Justin. All right, all right, sweet. Yeah. Well, Wes, maybe, maybe we run up an interview in the foreseeable future. X, I really appreciate you, you know, making this happen. And, you know, best of luck in the future. All right, thank you.